I felt today was the best day to sit down and have a conversation because I feel like a lot of you need to hear the truth. Call of Duty makes some good games and they make some bad games. I think that's no secret to the general audience, especially those who have been Call of Duty veterans and have been around for the decade plus that Call of Duty has been a thing. Recently, however, everyone just seems to care way too much about what others think, especially when it comes to gaming and just digital entertainment to begin with. You'll see it in every single YouTube comment section or Twitter post. If someone shares their opinion online, it's almost like there's an opinion police because there's gonna be people that disagree or oppose the statement or opinion you have, but they treat it like it's illegal to have that opinion. And especially when it comes to Call of Duty, it's getting kind of ridiculous. I've seen so many people just in my comment section and in other people's comment sections get unnecessarily upset over the smallest thing. For example, if someone says they like Modern Warfare 2019, there's a huge portion of the COD community that's going to start treating that person like they're killing puppies every single day just because someone has an opinion that they themselves disagree with. And it's kind of sad. And I just want to put something into perspective for you guys. If you're ever arguing in the comment section or on Discord with someone who has a different opinion to you, do you go to bed thinking Joe Mama 69 dislikes something you enjoy? I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess probably not. And if you are a person who goes to bed thinking about what someone said in a YouTube comment section and getting upset about it, I think you need to be regrounded with reality and gain some critical thinking skills. I see it way too often now where people just do not appear to have common sense at all. Like if you had good critical thinking skills, you'd probably use code wild at gamersubs.gg to get 10% off. But that's just someone that's smart. I do honestly think people need to care less about what others think. It's just, it's kind of embarrassing to be in the Call of Duty community and then see members of that Call of Duty community get so upset and so heavily opinionated when it comes to different games. It's like, yeah, it's super fun to share your opinions and tier lists on Call of Duty. Me and my friends in Discord do it all the time. We'll share our opinions and tier lists on Zombies maps or Call of Duty games. And we all openly discuss what we agree and disagree with but we don't threaten each other or take it too far like a lot of people you see online. On my channel, what I've always tried to do is I've always tried to encourage sharing opinions and having it not be some toxic thing. That's why I have discussion videos on plenty of topics within Call of Duty. I want people to share their opinions that are different from mine because I like hearing opposing viewpoints. I'm not going to threaten and harass a person that says Vanguard bad lol just because they dislike the game and I like the game. I like hearing why people don't like the game because it brings perspective to me. And when I play Vanguard and have a lot of fun, I don't think about a lot of the negative things. Not that I want to think negatively towards something that I enjoy, but it's very interesting hearing why people don't like the game compared to why I like it. And it almost makes me enjoy the game even more, not because this person doesn't like it and it's like a vendetta against them. It's just the whole perspective thing. So from now on, when it comes to opinions online, it's just an opinion. You're not going to go to bed thinking about it. It shouldn't ruin your day. I mean, if it does, you need therapy. And I mean, worst case scenario, you could always go 1v1 on Rust, that person. Remember when people used to do that? They used to boot up Modern Warfare 2 just to settle arguments. Times were so much simpler back then. And the crazy thing is, is after those 1v1s, a lot of those players that I was in heated arguments with, I became friends with because we earned and learned to respect each other. And we quickly realized that at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. I guarantee if you took a lot of people that argue in the comment sections where they're like threatening to beat each other up and you put them face to face, I feel like a lot of the feelings would go away really quick, not because they're just scared to fight or they realize how stupid everything is, but it's just to personalize everything. And I think because there's a screen in between you and that other person, it just makes it so much easier to hate each other without having any real world consequences. And I damn it, I sound like a teacher who's trying to like explain good behaviors with technology, but it's kind of true. People just need to care less. 
And that's my TED talk for today. I just, it, it's getting so annoying seeing people be so stupid online. And I feel like a lot of you are also getting annoyed. So from now on, on my channel and my Discord server, feel free to share your opinions. I don't think any of us take it too far. I know me and my friends goof around and we joke like we're taking it too far, but we've all known each other in person for years. And we're basically family at this point. Like we're about to join the Fast and Furious franchise with how close we are because that's all we got. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's just someone's opinion online. Don't take it too seriously. I just wanted to share that because I feel like people needed to hear that. And even though it's some super obvious thing, I feel like we can all tend to forget that sometimes. And even me, like sometimes even I will take arguments too far online. And yeah, but honestly, I like Call of Duty. I like Vanguard. I like Cold War. I like Modern Warfare. I like Modern Warfare 2. I like pretty much every entry in the franchise except for Infinite Warfare. That's because that game sucks. Fight me about it. In the comment section, let's get angry about it. Yeah, I mean, I know Call of Duty has issues. I think it's no secret. Call of Duty has always had issues. Imagine if Modern Warfare 2 was released today with the amount of imbalance that that game has. Imagine the community's outcry about one-man army noob tubes. But then again, we don't have the MW2 styled open lobby chats where people <laughs> would just say the craziest things and you grew thick skin because of it. Maybe people just aren't as thick skinned as they were back then. And it's with the new generation getting participation medals all the time and being told they're never wrong. But I mean, thinking about that logically, that could easily be an issue. That's the conclusion. Uh, background gameplay was a bar V2 rocket and a bar Warzone win. You guys know I'm going for a win and a V2 with every single weapon in Vanguard. I think I have the car done officially. Like I have V2 rockets with most weapons in the game, but I don't have victories with most weapons in the game. Officially what I've done in video so far, I think it's the car and Bren only, but I have a bunch of videos coming out with gameplay of the V2s and victories. Like I think tomorrow's video is going to have the Owen gun with those two things being completed. And that's the new grind that I'm on. You guys probably saw that video, but yeah. With that being said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and uh, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. And if there is one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.